Okay, hi everybody. I have a very huge thrift haul. It is um, Wednesday evening, so I'm posting this tomorrow. So after work, I just decided that I'd pop into a Goodwill and go shopping, and I came home with three large bags. Okay, hi everybody. I'm hoping to do this without any cuts, without any interruptions, with no editing because it is Wednesday evening. I've worked all day and then I went to a Goodwill after work and now I'm filming. So I'm hoping that everything goes great. Everything is still in the bags. I literally walked in uh, my house, had a tamale that my husband got me at a Mexican restaurant and I made myself a little beverage and now I just want to get this done so I can put it on and you guys see it today. So let me take a little sip and let's get started. Okay, so really, really, really good things. So when I was walking through the store, I was pulling things and I got quite a few things. And then right when I was about to leave, they pulled out two racks from the back ready to, be, to come out. And everything this one particular gal, I'm guessing, was giving away, I basically took. She had amazing things. And then a little bit later, another rack came out and I don't think I got anything on that rack. There was, oh, I did get some things on that rack. So I got some things on that rack too. So I think if, if this is in any particular order, I think I'm gonna start with just the stuff I got around the store. And this thrift haul is really, really, really good. And if you love it, at some point during this, if you could give me a thumbs up, I would appreciate that and maybe down below let me know what your favorite thing is. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull out the first bag and we'll start with belts. I went to the belt section first and the shoe section um, and as always, belts are $2.99 at my thrift store and usually I find some great ones and they don't really, they don't, like belts I sell don't just like fall off the shelf and I, I sell them very frequently but for $2.99 and I find a good quality, I have to pick them up. So let me get these all out. And like I said, I just walked in the door after I ate. I mean, I just walked I just walked in the house, ate, and came up here to do this. So nothing is organized. But I want to make sure this gets done before tomorrow. Okay, here we go. Okay, so when I am looking for belts, I always look for good quality. Um, made in Italy, made in the United States, not plasticky, made in China, good buckles. I really pay attention to um, the holes and make sure they're not all stretched out. If there's a little bit of wear and it's a high-end brand, then yes, I'll pick it up. For the most part though, I try to get them in excellent condition. Okay, so this brand is below the belt. I was going to look it up in the store, but I didn't, but um, I, it was just perfectly new and so I'm not really sure of the price. If I have time to edit, I will put a price here, but it's just a perfect belt. It's a pony hair. It's this pretty cheetah leopard print. It's a woman's size medium, and it is in perfect condition with a beautiful gold buckle. Next belt, made in Italy. Always looking for that. I'm looking for a leather backing also. So this is Boss Hugo, and it is a size 90-34 cowhide, made in Italy, and it's this gorgeous men's belt. And once again, I think this one hole has a... It's perfect. It's a perfect belt. It's a beautiful taupey color with a silver buckle, and it's Hugo Boss, and so that is a men's belt. Excellent, made in Italy. Next one's Fossil, and Fossil is a pretty good brand for um, handbags and everything else. Um, genuine leather, medium, perfect holes. It kind of has that kind of boho kind of look with the stamp, you know, 60s kind of stamped um, leather and a really pretty brushed silver look and perfect condition. So pick that up by Fossil. And because I'm not editing this, putting a lot of time into editing, I'm probably not gonna put prices anywhere around here. I just thought it'd be a good idea to show you what I pick up and why. And so I'm picking up belts in good condition for $3, why not? Okay, this belt is by Echo, and I know Echo makes um, scarves. Yes, it's made in Taiwan, but it's a nice, pretty um, brushed red, color and the buckle I don't know if you guys can see it but it's a really really pretty quality buckle it's gold and it has like a little stamping on it it's just really nice so got that 
And then I think I have a video of me finding this one. So it's Vineyard Vines, and Vineyard Vines clothes aren't doing that great right now, but it's such a nice belt. Um, it is a size 26. Just a cute little Vineyard Vines, and it is in excellent, excellent condition. It has the little whale. There's no... Um, no wear on the holes and so I thought why not I'll try that out okay and then the last belt has a little more wear than the others but it's coach and it is a size large I believe it's women's and it's a pretty brushed suede and um, the holes are great it's just a little I guess just because it's suede because it's suede it looks a little antique or something like it looks a little um not discolored but it looks a little lighter black than maybe it originally started with but it's so soft leather backing and of course um, if you ever find any coach belts their brass buckles are really really nice okay so women's size large belt okay so i looked for shoes and i think i found a couple pairs but the shoes at my goodwill are kind of expensive i think and so unless they're like a really great brand that i know are wonderful that i don't buy them there's some really good keen um, shoes which are always a good thing to buy but i just thought the price was a little more than i wanted to spend but when i went to the kids section the i found new with tags um bogs and bogs is a great brand these are um fifty dollars online new and I think these were $7.99 at my Goodwill. Like I said, shoes are kind of expensive, I think, at my Goodwill. But because they're brand new with tags, I thought I would give these a try. And I haven't sold um, bugs before, but I hear a lot of resellers selling these. So I thought, you know what, I'll give it a try since they're new. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so now it's pretty much no particular order um, on the rest of the stuff. Okay, so I'll just pick a bag. I have a lot so if anybody wants to take a bathroom break or if you need a drink go ahead and do that pause me for a second and on the way over there doing those things give me a thumbs up that would be great because I have quite a bit and I don't want to put in two videos I just want to put it out here and then I can list everything okay so and I hope you guys need to you're gonna be excited for the things I got I got so many great things okay these are made well and Madewell tops and sweaters I don't think do very well anymore, but pants still do. And these are just a button fly. Um, and these are a, they're called a 19 inch high rise skinny. They're a size 25. And I just thought the style of them with the button fly and then the hem is um, distressed. I just thought these were beautiful. And so Madewell, let me just spot over there. Okay, these are also made well, and these are called the 10 inch high rise skinny, and they're a size 26. I'm a 26, so I may keep these because I thought these were so cute, because look at the hem. But as, as always, if you want them, then of course, they're yours. If it'll just take a few days for me to put these on my Poshmark closet, so if you do want something, um, just be a little patient. Okay, so these are adorable. And I know these are about $100 or the high 80s or 90s at um, Madewell. So um, when I find a good current style, I do pick them up. Okay, I love these. So these are Levi's. And these are the Mile High Super Skinny. And Levi's pants are very expensive. I don't know if you guys are on their website ever, but they're around $98 now. And these are like perfect. Almost like they've never been washed. This is perfect and they have some distressing in them and yeah so cute so so cute I've been a little more picky picking up my jeans because I have quite a bit that I have not sold so I'm pretty picky now on the jeans I pick up okay I love these too these are made well and these are called the perfect vintage jean in a 25 and these are like brand new also so these are just kind of an oversized wide leg which is kind of popular right now and they're just in an excellent condition a little distressing on the pockets really really nice okay i got these for my son and um 
they were in the women's section, but they're men's and they're a size medium, but they're Patagonia and they do have a broken zipper on the back, but my son, um, is an outdoorsman, I guess you'd call him. He loves to go fly fishing. He makes flies and he's always outside in the outdoors. And so if there's a little bit of, you know, issue with them, it's not that big of a deal, but they're nice, a lightweight pant for summertime. Okay. And I know I've talked to you guys about this before, that it seems like I always have really, really good things. And I think I do, but um, it took me a while to find really good thrift stores around me within an hour. So there's two I love going to, but um, it took me a while to find these two. So you have to just keep going to consignment stores, thrift stores, um, resale stores to find one that, is, that has really good things. So. I thought these were awesome because I was I always watch reselling videos and this and people were saying that overalls are doing great. So then when I looked up these Dickies um, overalls, they're sold at Nordstrom, which is kind of funny, right? So they're just like the workman's pant Dickies, and these are a women. I think they're a medium. Yeah, a medium, and they're just basic painter style, um, carpenter style overalls and I'm sure this would be really cute with you know the even a little tube top underneath or a little summer top um, or in the winter something heavier but buy Dickies and um, try to pick up overalls they are doing well and I got another pair of overalls that I've not left listed I have not looked up the price yet but I'm going to when I edit because I think it's going to be a lot okay then I went to the dresses section and I didn't find too many dresses I just found a few so this one I thought was beautiful and I did look it up and this is by um, it's Joanna Bar Joanna Barishi I should know this because I, I see this brand all the time and then resellers try to find it but it's new with tags and it doesn't have the original price, but it's brand new with tags. And it's called the Gray Black Ombre. It's in a size small. And it's a higher end dress. The dress probably was about 200 to 250 new, and it is new. So, so happy with that. And the tag is gray, and the colors of this week were gray, and the things that were pulled out were gray. So I was really paying attention to the gray tags, but that will be really flattering on somebody, this dress. I kind of hemmed it hot on this one if I should get it. It is a Levi vest. It's a gray tag, so it was new. So um, Levi's, of course, does great things, and they have increased their value. Or in quite, they've increased their price. Um, so I just thought, you know what, I'm going to pick this up because the vests aren't that expensive, and it is new. This is never going to wash. It's new. So Levi's vest. Okay, one more dress. I think this is the only dress. New with tags, which is always great because I think their dresses are about $9 there. And it's um, Cosa Bella and it's made in Italy. And yeah, so it's a little, kind of has kind of like a Gucci inspiration with the, with the print. Um, but I guess it's either a dress or a beach cover up and it's Cosa Bella. And this, these, these dresses retail for over $100, about $150, I think so. Okay. And then I went to the um, outdoorsy section, like leggings and, you know, exercise clothes. And I found two things. The other one must be in a different bag. But Outdoor Voices, and every time I have Outdoor Voices in my closet, it sells very quickly within a week. And I thought these were very cute. So one leg is pink and one leg is green. These are in a size small, and I believe these retail, if I remember from the last time I posted, about $88. These, these sell for about $88. So these are in excellent condition. And then I wasn't sure if I should get this, and I just did. So it had the gray tag, so I knew it was newer. And I have only found this brand once before. It is made in Switzerland, and the tag is a little washed out, but I kind of recognize it. I think it's... H-A-N-R-O, I think. Anro, I think so. It's an extra small. It's made in Switzerland, and it's just a little top. So I, I wasn't sure if I should get this, but I didn't want to pass it up and regret it later. So there's that. Okay, so then let's get another bag. Ugh. Okay. Oh, 
no, you know what? I did get a couple more dresses. I kind of have a little story with some of these, so I think I'm going to wait with some of these. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait with these. A couple of these I'm going to wait on. Because they all belong to the same person. Remember I told you there was a rack that came out? And they belong to the same person. So I'm going to try to do those together or try to if possible or at least a, at least a bunch of them together okay we'll just we'll see how it goes. okay so this was another brand that was um in that exercise section and i don't know this brand so i looked it up and it's z-o-b-h-a zobha and these are 88 dollars new so i thought these would be a good pickup and yeah i was just hoping there wasn't a stain um yeah so these are really nice they're in a size small and that is a new to me brand and they retail for 88 dollars. so i thought i'd give those a try kind of high-waisted leggings and then i've been very interested lately in this whole cottage core so if you watch retailers resellers and you see that they're talking about cottage core i'll put some pictures in here if i have time if not if it's blank i didn't have time and it's just that whole it's almost like a shabby chic look that now is called cottage core where you're wearing kind of like farm clothes and peasant dresses and little calico and all that so i picked up this shirt because I was thinking, I don't have any cottage core in my closet, so let's give it a try. So this is, uh, first of all, I said I saw Made in Copenhagen, so that sounded appealing. And then it's Brun, B-R-U-N-N, -N, and Stingade, S-T-E-N-G-A-D, Stingade. And it has that calico kind of a look to it. It's a slim fit. It is a size 36, and it kind of goes with that cottage core look so I thought you know what I'm gonna give this cottage core aesthetic a try okay this brand I have found before I think in shoes but once I saw design in France hello I thought I should give it a, a, an extra look and it was a green tag so I'm like wow well, this has been here a little while and nobody picked it up but it's oh, it's French good luck good luck Comptoir des Contours. There you go. Anyway, it's a little vest and it ties in these double ties in the back. So kind of like that. And because it's a vest, I think these vests are about $7 or so, but made in France and it's um, semi-designer. So I thought I would try that out. Okay, this one I also looked up because it was new with tags. It is a swim company, and it is called Adore Me. It is a size small, and because it was new with tags, I thought this was really, really cute for somebody. And they can wear a lilac bit bottom or a little minty green or sage color, um, navy. There's a couple of color choices that you can wear with this, and I just thought that would be really pretty with somebody, and it's new with tags. Okay. Oh, let's see what order I want to go in. Let's do this. Okay. This is a good one. Gray tag, so it's brand new, out on the rack. And it is John Paul Gautier. Gautier. John Paul Gautier. Designer. Size 40, um, made in Italy, dry clean only. Isn't that pretty? So it is lined in this beautiful um, fabric, has a little pocket on the inside, which I didn't really, I didn't really even look at this much because I thought, oh, just grab it. Um, so gorgeous, gorgeous designer item, um, pretty little flip sleeves, really, really pretty. Should I try it on just to, so you guys can see? Really pretty. Oh, it has an inside little, very well, very well made, an inside little buckle. Is that pretty? Okay. So it's not my size, but I thought I would let you guys see kind of the look of it. Okay, so it double, kind of like that. So that was amazing for a Goodwill, right? So yay, not sure of anything with this price because I'm gonna have to um, look it up. 
Um, I have never sent anything to the Real Real yet or Thread Up, and I know many people do with their designer items, so I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to do the Real Real ever, but um, I know very, some very successful resellers do. They send things once in a while to the Real Real, so maybe at some point this summer when I have a little bit of a break, I will investigate that and let you know if I ever do. Okay, a pair of pants. These are, um, oh yeah, that's right. These were, let me, okay, these go with this story. That goes with that story. Okay. I think the rest go with the racks that came out. Yes. There's two things that, that weren't on there, so let me do those first. best with handbags but I just thought this was um, in excellent condition and this is called Sandra Roberts squared and this bag retails for over $200 and it is kind of a cork little tote look and so I thought you know what I think I'll give this a little bit of a try because it's in perfect condition like it was never used or if it was used it was just used once or twice so I thought I'd give this a try if you're familiar with this brand leave a comment down below your opinion on it there's that okay I found two backpacks the first looks like this there's stuff in it still and I wasn't sure if this was a knockoff or not, and then I went uh, and Googled it, and I did find this one. Um, someone was selling uh, Poshmark for $99, and I looked at all the pictures, and it was new with tags, so this one is authentic. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna pick this up. I'm not sure what I paid for it. I can't tell, it doesn't say backpack or handbag on here, so I'm not too sure. But anyways, an excellent condition, this black backpack by Michael Coors, so I was happy to see that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead, I think, and I'm going to tell you the story. Uh, let me just do let me just do this one last thing, and then I'll tell you the story with, uh, with all this stuff. Okay, so this is Timbuktu. This is a really great brand, and it is in perfect, perfect, like new condition. There's a back section for a, back, uh, a computer, and it just has all these great sections, a great travel bag, this little side compartment for your water bottle, perfect condition, and there's a store near me, so I know this is a great, um, a great brand. So Timbuktu, um, San Francisco, and it looks like this. So I would say it's, it could be male or female. Okay, now these things, besides the boots, all these things were found on the racks that were sent out right when I was about to leave. And I know at the end of the day is when they put their racks out for the next day for people to put away. So I try to go a little bit later in the day. And so when I went after work today and there weren't racks there, I know that sometimes there's only hard goods they put out in some particular days, but this day they put out three racks while I was there. And most of the stuff that's really great were on these three racks. Okay, I guess I should do no particular order. Okay. So these jeans, or these pants are amazing. They're A gold, size 28. I don't know if they have a name on them. I just saw the brand and took them. Filter free, I don't know if that's the name or the color. Um, but they are um, just some black A gold pants, kind of like a straight leg. And I know these pants are over $200 and they are black black so they're not like washed a lot so happy to find those then like i said all the same racks i think it's just the same tasteful person these are a pair of lululemon there's the little there and just the style of them are so cute look at they have the um they have these chunky zippers on the side and um, so they are a legging, of course, but they have a little more style to them with the zippers on them. So I love those. Oh, man, look what I just saw. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, you know what? I guess I'm keeping this one. Dang it. I thought I looked at it pretty well, but there you go. So White & Warren is always a great cashmere brand to pick up. This this. Um, poncho was probably about $340 and like no exaggeration 
um, because their sweaters are in the twos. So this would have been great for a plane trip because it's a great cow neck uh, poncho, but it had those little holes on the side, like almost like it got caught in something. So I'll probably repair this and just keep it for myself, but darn it, I was hoping to get like $75 for this. Oh well, there you go. This was exciting. I was going to take it anyway, and then I saw that it had tags on it. So, this is Wilfred Free, so by Aritzia. And I think I'm going to have to somehow show you a picture so you know how cute this is. But, it's like a little jumpsuit, so I'm hoping to find a picture for you. And it's linen, and the retail price is $165. It's called the Brax Jumpsuit in Black, Wilfred Free, new with tags. So, if I'll try to put a picture in of this because it's just, it's so, it's so cute. It has like a little cut out in the back that's really hard to tell, but really, really, really cute jumpsuit. And it is in a size eight. Then I thought again, cottage core. I thought of this and it's called Boheme. And um, it's just so pretty has this really pretty embroidery and it's just a light ivory it has a wide tiered skirt you see that kind of hard to tell um, if it's not too much trouble when I'm editing I will put in a picture it's lined it's just really really pretty and I was being a little more picky with the dresses because dresses don't always do great for me but isn't that really pretty would these be pretty with little um, gladiator sandals the summer just a gorgeous dress and it is a size medium and I think it's like a just a heavy cotton then I was so happy to see this I'm like score same rack Johnny was and it's a beautiful linen it feels like linen linen just kind of a shift dress and let's just double check so you can wear it with a little slip underneath uh, in the summer or you can wear it um, over a swimsuit yep it's linen um over a swimsuit and it's just a really pretty kind of muted flowers i know sometimes johnny was flowers are really bright but it has the beautiful birds and the beautiful embroidery and it is at a size medium aren't i getting great things okay um, this little jacket, I was going back and forth, back and forth. It's called, um, Staple, um, Pigeon Brand when I looked it up. So it's called Staple, the Rugged Outdoor Pigeon Brand. And it just kind of has this almost like, um, what is that? Those called the Thunderbird Aztec little signs with the, um, stars. And so it looks like this and it's in that kind of like Thunderbird print with the stars. And I wasn't sure if I should get it. Then when I asked the gal out front how much was this jacket, and she said $8, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try because it seemed like they were selling for about $50 when I was looking it up. And so same rack at the very end. Okay, then this, let's go in this order. Okay, this is a Levi um, item, and it's a size small. And it is kind of a heavyweight um jeanish material and it's just a, such a cute little levi dress the only thing you can see is right here there's like a little levi tag but this would be pretty seasonally like you could probably wear it a little bit in the spring um and then of course you could wear it into the fall with boots and tights and i just thought it was really nice in this off-white color and levi's always does well okay the last one which i think is going to be worth quite a bit haven't looked it up yet but it seems amazing they're overalls, but they're Levi overalls. And so let me see what size they are. I didn't even look too much into it because I just like, when I was going through those racks that were out, there was a man there who was a reseller, even though he was pretending he wasn't. I don't know why he was doing that. He's like, oh, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. And then he got him and then he was over on the couch, like looking at comps. So, um, yeah, I'm not too sure. <laughs> so this is a size large. And let me show you how awesome these are. So they're Levi's overalls. And I'm thinking these are probably hard to find. And they're like new. Okay, so this is the back. Okay. This is the front. And they're just so cute. So someone can wear them super oversized with something underneath. 
or if large is your size this is just you guys these are so cute and I have a feeling these are worth a lot because I've never seen um, Levi overall so I'm sure that they're a little bit hard to find and especially they're probably hard to find um, definitely in a thrift store so if I can find a price on this while, I, while I'm not editing I will um, I'll insert it here but the tag is like new so these are amazing find and I was so 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 happy all right everybody that is my thrift haul for today I need to get going and listing these things so I know I'm posting this in the morning so these things will not be listed yet when you see this video so I'm sorry about that but um, you could see that was quite a bit to take pictures and list and you know this is not my full-time job so I will get these out as soon as I can and I really appreciate that you sat through such a long video and if you've never joined me before I would love you to subscribe and watch every week I was out of town for a few days almost a week going to my daughter's graduation at Ole Miss in Mississippi and we flew into Miss uh, Memphis and then we spent a night there and when we did the whole wonderful graduation so I've been off camera for a little bit so I'm, I apologize about that but I think I'm gonna be home for quite a while now and I hope to be a little more regular, but um, I had a great weekend celebrating my daughter's graduation. Okay, everybody, hope to, I see you next Thursday. And this Sunday, I do have a video. I already, I already know what I'm doing. It's all planned. So please join me this Sunday for a fashion video. And I think they kind of go great together. So if you are only a reseller and you only watch resale content, maybe join me on Sundays and I talk about fashion and trends and things like that. So that'll probably help you with your resale business also. Okay, give me a thumbs up on the way out and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.